Hello, in this video we are going to set our stuff to substance and then we are going to texture the iris. So, um, yep, whenever we send stuff to substance, we're going to duplicate our model, control D, and we are going to do a baked smooth. So, make sure that preserve edges and corners is on, apply. And also make sure that you smooth the edges, so soften edges. There we go. Because we don't want, we want everything to be baked in. And then we're just going to rename this like underscore high for each one of these. These are just temporary models that we want to generate so that we're texturing on things that are going to be re somewhat, re this is what our model is going to look like when rendered. Um, if we don't do that, we'll probably get some stretching and that kind of thing. So export your selection. And I'll just save over that. Okay, so import it in, hit new. There's that one. We always do OpenGL, 4K. Yep, okay. And I don't need to see the UVs for now. Um, so, put that over to the side a little bit. Um, I didn't name my materials, it looks like that's why there's these. So I'll just name that LV body TL and I'll hide it. And Scalera and this one will be called Iris MTL. Okay. So now I would do some searching on close up of eyes and figure out we're going to take an image and basically project it on here. So I'll do a little searching and find mine. Okay, so I found one. I'm going to save this on my desktop and then I'll import it into Substance. And go to plus here, add resources, and I did mine down here somewhere. Open. Let's put it in there. I use texture and I'll do iris for the name. Import. Okay. So I have one here. Um, now I'm going to delete this and make a fill layer. And what I can do is just drag it into my base color. And it almost matches. But now I can just go over and adjust it in here so it's not quite hitting the sides. I can do something like this. Try to center it a little bit, and that's fine. Now I am going to use my. Uh, I'm going to use um, cloning. So to do that, I need to go to Add Layer, and I want this to pass through. So go to Pass Through. So it's going to select everything that I've made so far, pass through, and clone on top of that. Um, then I'm going to go to my clone brush and start cloning, pulling them V and click. And let me see, start finding areas that I want to clone from. Just get rid of these little, this black iris that's in there. Get rid of highlights. Um, if it's helpful, I would probably set this to base color.
something like that might be fine. Um, and then go to material. So that's good. And I'll just name this iris um, fixed. And what I want to do is make an anger point because I'm going to apply this to a bunch of different layers, this fixed version. So I'm going to go and say right click and say anchor point. And I'm going to hit add fill layer. And in this one, um, pretty much our my first layer is what this layer is basically the layer that is taking the color. But I want a layer that is doing like the height. I want there to be a bumpiness that this stuff is like pushing out and in. So I'm going to go over and add a black mask and I'm going to add a fill and then put that in the grayscale of the fill. I'm going to click in there and go to anchor points and put my anchor point in there. Now if I go up to my height and my material, I'm going to raise it up. You start seeing the effect. So you'll see that it's kind of the details showing. Like that. Um, you can even just go in here and in the levels, if it's not popping as much as you want, make it more contrasty and strong. Um, you can also blur it if it's if that's something that you need. Like if this is too detailed, then you can blur it out um, by using a filter. So add filter, and like blur. But you probably want to do that um, so you blur it out like that. So um, you'd probably want to do that not on the height stage. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty close. And then you can always go back to your original here and start fixing the roughness. So like that. Sometimes adding a little bit of metallic to that makes it a little interesting. But it's up to you. All right, I'll see you in the next video.